What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction video and today is the day. Today is finally the day that we get some more Demon Slayer content. And I am so ready for this because my friend said that this arc is way better than both of those last two arcs combined. And when he said that, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's run it up. Give me the episode now. And based off that opening I watched, it looked like this season is going to be so fire. And I can't wait to see more of the Hashiro that's going to be featured in this one. All I know is that his technique is sound breathing, and that's kind of fucking live. Anyways, I'm not trying to waste any more time. Let's get into this fire ass anime. They really going to show us this sad ass death again. Like, come on, bro. We already seen this enough. Why y'all keep trying to tell a hole in my heart? Hey, but I will be lying if I say that I don't like seeing this shit because the animation is so sexy. I'm about to beat my dick to this again. As sad as Red Goku's death was, y'all cannot lie. In Nosuke's reaction when he was crying, it was kind of funny. Damn, his little brother, bro. I really feel bad for his whole entire family, even though his father was unsupportive for what he was doing. Woo, boy, he gotta be with it. I can his ass. What the fuck is that? That little boy look menacing. <laughs> he definitely looked like a kid. He don't look like a con boy to me. Kind of sound like a demon to me. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Akaza Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't tell me that's fucking Muzan. Yo, what the fuck? I swear I thought this was a whole different character that we did not get introduced to. Yeah, I didn't know Muzan in his fucking form. Oh shit, he seemed like he is not happy with the outcome you just told him. Oh shit! Damn, he basically unimpressed of him taking out of Hashira. Yo, dude, he got this man bleeding from the mouth. What is this man doing to my nigga Akasa? This man is pissed the fuck off that he did not take out Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Inosuke. But why does this feel so intense, bro? I don't know. I feel like he about to wipe out Akaza too. Shit. Damn. He is just so disappointed in him. Fuck. Oh, he still had the sword that Tanjiro threw at him. I thought he must have, like, threw it off in the forest by now. Oh, shit. Beating that sword to death. Hold on, did I just say beat that sword to death, a non-living object? <laughs> I need to go to sleep. Damn, that was so fucking good. I am so ready for the rest of this. <laughs> My boy's a net on the undercover mission of stealing some food. This soundtrack go insane too. Damn. <laughs> Knock the noodles out of him. <laughs> That scene right there reminds me of the game so much when you roam it around finding the demon sense. And I'm not gonna lie, uh, you guys are gonna hear me suck you foldable's dick a lot because if I see good animation, I'm gonna call it out. Damn, bro, my man really looks so depressed, bro. Fuck, I feel so bad that he lost his brother like that. Yeah, this man is drunk, drunk, but I don't blame him though. Damn, bro, he really going in. Whoever voicing Rengoku's father, his voice sounds so familiar. Oh, shit. Oh, he noticed because of the earrings. Ooh, bro, god damn, why you treat him like that? Oh, okay. He said, get off me. I guess that's his way of grieving. Yo, don't tell me we're about to have a fight scene between Rengoku's father and Tanjiro. Oh, damn. I, I didn't know it was the very first technique to be created and it's the strongest. I hope we learn more about the breathing throughout the series because it's so fucking interesting to learn the backstory and lore behind it. Tell him, Tanjiro. Tell him. Oh, shit. Hey, I'm glad that he's 
damn. I'm glad that he's not letting them talk down on his name like that. God damn, that shit looks sexy. Oh, gave him that headbutt special. Damn, he got to at least have a concussion, though. My man's okay. He did headbutt the fuck out of him. He should be all right. He's just really going through it, man. You got to understand from a standpoint... From a father, too. What is it? I don't really do that. <laughs> Damn, who tore that shit to shreds? Oh, so it's notes about the breathing. Damn, why the father have to do the book like that? And best believe the Hinokami Tanjiro, that's one of my mains on the game. Hey, if you guys ever want to catch out once with me on a PC version of Demon Slayer, let me know. I love how dedicated he is, bro, to getting stronger. That's the type of character I love. <sighs> bro, this shit is so fucking sad, bro. I hate seeing the aftermath of people's deaths and how people react. Because it's really depressing seeing everyone all just down and sad. Man, don't tear yourself down like that. All you have to do is keep on trying and eventually you will succeed. You shouldn't give up either. Alright, where the tissues, bro? Y'all gonna really show him smiling like that? <laughs> Even the brother like, mm, I don't know, you should be doing that shit. <laughs> I hope this ain't the last time that we'll see uh, Von Goku's brother. Oh shit, he giving him with Goku's... Oh, but I don't know what it's called, but it belongs on the blade. He's definitely going to put it on this next sword. Oh, that's so live, bro. I'm loving how Rengoku's legacy will still live on. I don't want to hear any of that at all. Oh, he finally broke down, bro. Just It's all right. Just let it out. I'm so glad that they showed the father crying, that he has emotions, not just some st stubborn father. What the fuck? Oh shit, <laughs> is that the nigga that make the swords? Oh shit, he pissed that he lost his sword again. <laughs> you better stop fucking up his swords that he make for you. <laughs> God damn, bro, how long has he been running from him? Hey, that's clutch. He saved him from that psycho ass. <laughs> that man is in love with that food. Hey, the trio putting in that work, though. Hey, they all jacked as fuck. Uh, they been really putting in that work. <laughs> this man said that too is down bad. Oh, shit, they have another mission now? Oh, snap. Woo! Okay, Nezuko coming in with the shits, too? <laughs> Damn! Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That demon about to get fucked up. Ooh. Damn. Oh, I thought he cut his head off, but it looked like he cut off his never mind. Shit. Came back for a finishing blow. The hell? Oh, there goes a Hashira, bro. I wanna I can't wait to know more about him. Like out of all the Hashiras, bro, I really love his design the most. Damn. So let go of my shit. <laughs> Y'all about to tag his ass down. <laughs> Look like he just ruined the moment. Boy, we about to headbutt another nigga? Oh shit, that boy just vanished. Yuzi Tengen. Well, okay, that's his name. I was I was calling the Hashira from the longest. <laughs> <laughs> Man just threw her off effortlessly like oh don't need you anymore. <laughs> Basically called you a bitch. Hey yo, hold the fuck on bro. I just noticed that this bit eclipsed a 20 minutes mark. I forgot that this episode was supposed to be an hour long. I'm so fucking slow. I was so invested into this. Oh shit. Representation. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, bro, here we go, bro. We about to get us some madness. I just know we are. <laughs> Yo, hold on. How old is she? Pause. That's what the word I was thinking of in my head to describe them. Flashy. The camera movements, the camera movements, the camera movements. Why does it look so fucking good? Oh shit, that must be the demon, bro. Bro, even though that episode was like an hour long, it still felt like an ordinary average anime episode. I want more. The Pleasure District. What the fuck? <laughs> I hope that's not what I think it is. I'm about to call up you photo and ask them how come the premiere wasn't two hours, bro? Because it wasn't enough. No, nah, but for real, though, that episode was fire, and you could just tell that this season is going to be insane. And what the hell do they mean by traveling to the Pleasure District? Do they... Is that a prostitute district or? Because that's the only thing I can think of pleasure wise. Looks like we are officially done with the Mugen train already because it looked like it closed out with the Rengoku passing in the grieving aftermath of his family. And it was really devastating too seeing his brother and father torn apart like that. And you can tell the dad is going through it, especially him drinking that sake like it's nothing. When Goku, you will be missed. You will never be forgotten. And that demon at the end, whatever she has that's behind her, like them little tentacles, bro, look, she ain't gonna be easy to defeat. I just know for a fact, and for you Margaries that read the manga, you guys can hype up how good this arc is gonna be without spoiling it, though. Don't do that shit. Anyways, what did you guys think of the episode? Comment down below, hit the subscribe button for more future content, and I'll catch you guys next week.